So um, with the later versions of Revit uh, 2021, I think in 2022, the original description that I had in my first go around with this project, um, the pillow no longer um, conforms. Uh, it does some kind of screwy things. So I went ahead and uh, searched through YouTube and found another uh, resource. Somebody had done something more contemporary um, in the 2021 version and um, was very successful with that. So I'm going to just describe the technique that he used, give him some credit here by showing this up on the screen. You could follow the URL if you wanted to um, actually see um, the other version of it. And um, let's get started. I'm going to go out to Revit and I'm going to open up a new family. And we're going to go and open up a generic pattern base. And we might want to do a save as right away. So I'm going to go file, save as a family. I'm going to stick it out on my desktop for now and I'm going to call this pillow. And we'll uh, rotate around to the top side of this. And basically um, now we're just going to create a, a center, center line for this. So I'm going to go ahead and put down some reference points. And I'm putting those on the blue line. That is the solid reference line that's showing up. I don't want to put it on the grid itself. And you notice I'm waiting until I get the triangle showing so I know I'm right on the center. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab both of those points. and use the spline tool to build a line between them. And we'll rotate out to a view here so you can see this better. Let's pick that view instead. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to get a center point on here. The idea is to come up with some kind of a curvature here. So I'm going to put a, I'm going to put another reference point here at that midpoint. And now I want to point up and below for the curvature up of the pillow and the curvature down of the pillow. So I'm going to set another point on here, but I'm going to set the reference plane of this. I'm going to tab until it is in that um, flat planar looks because I want that to be um, the way it gets driven. The, the next point I build, and I'm going to select that. And I'll place a point on there. And it'll kick up a warning telling me I have two points in the same place, and I know that right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that point. Actually, what I'll do is I'll pull this a little off axis just to show that it's behaving adaptively. And that'll give you a good indication of what's going on here when it moves a little bit on an angle. So that's a height of the pillow, of the curve that we're going to construct. So I want a parameter to go along with that. So I'm going to open up the parameters tool. I'm going to create a new parameter. I'm going to call it height. And I'm going to set another point exactly the same way. I'm going to set this reference plane and place a point. Same warning and similar function we're going to do here. So I'm going to grab that point. I'll just pull it down so you can see it more clearly. And you'll notice it'll change the offset. And I'm going to give that a depth parameter. So I'm going to make a new parameter that I'm going to call depth. And now those two parameters are going to relate to each other. I want them to really be equal to each other. I'm going to go ahead and open up the family types. And you'll notice I have a depth and a height. And I'm going to take the height and copy it. And I'm going to place it up here. And I'm going to put a negative in front of it because I want this to end up as a negative value. So I want the depth to equal the negative height. And I'll click complete. And now any number I put in here, if this is just one foot, um, this will automatically update to a negative one foot. So now I have my uh, points that I want to make my spline. So I'm going to go ahead now and select the, um, the three points that I need to make my curve. I'm going to try to anyway. One, two, oops. And use the spline tool, and we have a curve. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom side now. And 
And now we're ready to build some form. So I'm going to tab until I can select that end reference line, hold the control, grab this line, and then grab the other reference line, and then say create form. And that gives us our top pillow. And then we can get on to the underside of this. And I'll do the same thing. I'll tab until I grab that one reference line, hold the control and select this reference line, and then grab that third reference line and do create form also. And now we have our full pillow shape and we can test it for having parametric behavior. Okay, so now the last thing I wanna do in this snippet is add the materiality to this material or to our, um, our film. We want it to be transparent. So I'm gonna grab that form and I'm gonna give it a material so I'll click on the little box in front of it, and we'll go ahead and create a new material. And I'm just gonna right click, um, excuse me, left click and rename this. No, I said right click, um, E-T-F-E. And in its appearance, I wanna give it some transparency. And I think this is always going backwards, but uh, let's see what this looks like when it redraws this. Oh, that's translucency. I'm sorry. Up here's our transparency. Yeah, I think we get more transparent as we... Let's see what it goes. When we go this way, it's more solid. So we want it to be relatively transparent. So let's figure we'll do 70% um, to start out with. I'll just type in 70. And... Let's pick a color that's lighter. So I'll go to edit color and I'll make this more of a whitish film or whitish gray. Click OK, apply and OK. And um, that may not render correctly until we, well, it looks like it is there. Let's go to the bottom side here and see if I can grab this bottom form. Might need to go to a wireframe here for a second. And I grab the bottom form now, and I'm going to go and grab the ETFE. Okay, so now um, I'm going to end this clip, and the next thing we're going to do is kind of add those standoffs. Uh, we're going to add some bars to hold this film off of the safe face of the um, of the panel. We've also got to put a uh, picture frame around it. Actually, we'll, we'll do the picture frame next.